Welcome back. We are just a day away from Gale King heading to space. And this morning, we're looking at how technology is making it possible for more people without years of training to travel among the stars. In fact, there is a whole new industry making that happen. CBS News' Mark Strassman has more on what could be a new era. Space tourism, no longer science fiction, but science fact. Newly minted astronauts include tycoons Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson, and celebrities such as actor William Shatner. I'm Captain James T. Kirk, commanding the Starship Enterprise. Of Star Trek fame. The most profound experience. Two companies, Bezos's Blue Origin and Branson's Virgin Galactic, will rocket you to the edge of space and back. It's a suborbital joyride. 50 to 60 miles above Earth, with a total trip time up and down lasting as little as 11 minutes. Nearly 120 people have launched with the two companies so far. These are purely civilian flyers in most cases, and you have to call that space tourism. And doing it for fun. Yeah, pretty much doing it for fun. You know, you're getting your four minutes of weightlessness. You're getting a view of the Earth that only astronauts have ever gotten before. In 2022, Mountaineer Vanessa O'Brien flew to the edge of space with Blue Origin and loved it. You are able to see something that is so precious. It was seeing that blue marble from above, and it translates into a, a sense of almost responsibility and an appreciation that um, we really are all connected, that it is one planet. <laughs> Elon Musk's SpaceX offers next-level orbital adventuring. In 2021, billionaire Jared Isaacman financed Inspiration4, an all-civilian crew of four. They orbited Earth for three days. Another space company, Axiom, has chartered civilians all the way to the International Space Station. Ticket prices are reportedly stratospheric, roughly a half million dollars per passenger for an up-and-down trip. Three, two... Somewhere around $200 million to charter a SpaceX capsule into orbit. Those up and down suborbital flights have a better chance of, you know, getting down to an affordability level that, that might appear a bit more reasonable. Will those flights be more affordable to more people anytime soon? I do think the prices uh, can get down to the point of an around the world cruise, you know, something like that uh, in fairly short order. So strap yourself in once prices begin to drop. The future of taking a selfie from space is already here. Mark Strassman, CBS News. And special coverage of the flight to space begins tomorrow at 9 a.m. right here on CBS New York.